All right, everyone, welcome back. Happy New Year 2019. It's going to be the year of projects. My name is Jake. This channel is all about uh, trying different things, trying new things out, building new skills, new talents, new experiences, accepting that we're not experts in any one thing necessarily, but we want to try to be, you know, well-rounded individuals that can do a wide variety of things and be useful in that sort of way. That being said, welcome to my channel. I'm very glad you're here, and I have a project for you today. So, I'm in my basement workshop area right now. I'll give you a tour later. Another video coming out soon, workshop tour. Cool? Okay. Upstairs, we have a pantry in our hallway. So this is a modular home. Uh, modular meaning that they had you know, two ends and squished them together, put them on a basement. When you are building a modular home, you have certain flexibility in the design elements. One such thing being that we really wanted a pantry in the hallway. That is to help us expand the storage of the kitchen because it is an open floor plan and we did not have a lot of uh, cabinet space or a lot of kitchen storage. So we do like to buy in bulk and you know, a big tub of rice or a big thing of paper towels from Costco or whatever. Um, you need a place to put all those things. When we were customizing this house design the floor plan, we chose to put in a pantry in the hallway. Uh, and that turned out just fine except the shelving in the pantry is just the you know, generic wire shelves and they're way too deep, I'll show you. Anyway, today's project is going to be completely remodeling that pantry, putting in some lights and some brand new shelves, um, have a lot more storage, so let's get up there and assess what we're gonna be doing. All right, All right so here is the pantry in question. Uh, let me show you what we're working with here and we'll kind of figure out what we wanna do. As you can see, it's kind of a, a hot mess right now. The ceiling actually goes all the way up here um, and extends back about three-ish feet uh, in here. These wire shelves in here, uh, not only are they just kind of generic and not very good looking, but they're also way too deep. As you can see, like we have stuff way back there and up top we can't even reach back there. Um, so the goal for the shelving is at least going to be to shorten these shelves and then kind of make a wraparound shelf system that uses the entire floor to ceiling space. Probably notice that there isn't any lights on in there either. It's a very, a very dark pantry. So the solution for right now is we have this, we have that little kind of, uh, <laughs> it's a stick on light. It's literally just a, you know, it's a Velcro light with a light switch. Um, not a very good solution, so I'm going to try to find an outlet on the other side of this wall here and use that to wire in an outlet or a switch with uh, some LED lighting around the, the door trim. So that's the plan for now. First thing to do is going to get this thing cleaned out and remove all the old shelves. So I took some rough measurements and drew out a little plan to buy lumber for but once I get the shelves up, I'll get some more precise measurements just in case the pantry isn't exactly square as they don't tend to be. Uh, for now, let's just get this thing cleaned up, okay? Okay, so all those shelves are out. That was, took a little bit longer than I thought it would. Uh, the next thing to do is going to put in some lights. Uh, I have this rope of LED lights and I want to basically string them up around the inside of the door frame so that when you turn the switch on the lights can be shining into the pantry. Now to do that, uh, as you can see there's no outlets or switches inside there. So I'm going to have to uh, go into the next wall over. Uh, there's a light switch there for some lights in the laundry room. So I'm going to take power off of that switch uh, and just put in an outlet to plug in this thing with and have a switch uh, to switch power on and off in that outlet. Okay, so it's the next day. We have a little bit of daylight uh, so I can actually work in here. Uh, this is our laundry room and this wall uh, butts up against the pantry, so the other wall of the pantry. And we have a light switch right here. So the goal is to take this outlet and have it powered by this switch. And I've got a two gang electrical box and a couple lengths of Romex wire, 12 gauge. 
uh, to run the switch into the pantry and wire it up inside the pantry inside this uh, electrical box. I'm not an electrician. Uh, if you're going to try this on your own and you don't know what you're doing, feel free to call a professional electrician to come in and uh, do the work for you because it can be very dangerous. So I have the breaker turned off right now so we can get in there and figure out what to do uh, to get power running to an outlet off of the switch. Okay, so I got the switch taken out of the wall and started messing around with it and it took a lot of time just with testing with the multimeter and uh, trying a few different things out to figure out exactly how I was going to do this so it got dark again. Uh, now i got to use this silly light and okay, but now I'm sure of what I'm going to do so I'll go ahead and show you. So here's the switch as it looks out of the wall. Uh, it is a four-way switch because there's another switch over on the other wall that also powers this light in this room. Uh, I have this power from the switch coming here and then it goes up to the light in this wire. Since we don't really ever use that door uh, or that light switch we can just leave it in the on position and we can use this switch as the main access to turn this light on in this room and I can leave those wires uh, into that room uh, hot to turn on the lights there. So what I'm going to do is just take uh, this piece of Romex and uh, put the hot wire on there, put the white wire in common, and obviously ground it, and then run this through the wall into the other switch on the other side of the wall. where the other light switch is. <laughs> I just won't go in all the way now. Okay, so I made the hole in the drywall for this box and ended up actually hitting the other box on the other side of the wall. So there's the box right there and we're, we're kind of running into a situation. So, so all I'm gonna have to do is just make a little cut, I'll just make a little cut out in this box and make it slide in there, just like that. I just cut most of the back out of it uh, and it fits now. So now this really just becomes an issue of running a wire into this other box and hooking up the switch and the outlet. So let's do that. Okay, so we got this side wired up and we're just going to shove all this back in there, hopefully not creating any shorts. Um, and we'll close that up and we'll take it over to the other side. Okay, so now it just becomes an issue of taking this wire, which now has hot coming out of it, and hooking up to the switch, and hooking the switch up to this outlet, which is going to plug the LED light into it. I think that's gonna do it. Got hot going into the switch, hot coming out of the switch going into the outlet, and it's all wired up and grounded, I think, just fine. So I'm gonna put these back into the box and do the breaker on, we'll see what happens. So the breaker's on, this switch is still off, but theoretically, when I plug this in, to turn the switch on, the lights should work. Let's see. Whew, look at that. Works great. Oh, okay. That's done. All 
Alright, so that's going to do it for the lighting inside this pantry here. We've got the outlet with the switch hooked up so it turns the lights on and off. We've got the rope light. We got the rope lighting uh, attached around the trim. And I'm happy to finally pull this silly thing off of there. So now we have some permanent lighting or semi permanent lighting. Okay. Okay, so that's going to do it for part one of this project. So in this video, I started by cleaning out the pantry, took all the old shelves off. I ran power from a switch in the joining wall in our laundry room into the pantry through that wall. And then I hooked that up to a switch, which is hooked up to an outlet, uh, which I plugged in those LED lights to. So we have switched power in the pantry now. In the next video, I'm gonna actually be framing up the shelves and installing the shelves and then getting everything put back in there and it'll be finished. But being this video is already getting kind of long, I'm going to stop it here and we can finish up in the next video. So that being said, thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you're enjoying this project so far. Please let me know in the comments if I'm doing anything wrong, if you would do something different, or if you have any questions, feel free to comment. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you like what I'm doing here. So that's it for now. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video to finish off this pantry remodel.